and, and this is part of our SSF methodology, and it's, it's part of the best Facebook strategy that I believe is out there, and it's part of what we call the sidewalk. In the SSF strategy, it's sidewalk, slow lane, fast lane. So it's taking articles, and it's less than, it's between five to 700 characters, and, or sorry, word, uh, yeah, no, 500 words, sorry. And it's being able to have an actual piece of content and you promote that with Facebook. Facebook gives you a relevancy score to the moon, 10 out of 10, nine out of 10 constantly, gives you five cent clicks, and then you put something at the bottom of that, of that article that is super compelling to get them into your actual email list and then you put an engagement stream behind that and if they don't subscribe there in our in our findings 8 to 18 percent of people will subscribe there depending on the topic and what it is but if you go ahead and retarget those people with an actual landing page you'll get a 50 to 60 percent conversion rate for the clicks on that actual landing page and now you're getting 50 60 cent conversions and that is how we've been building very, very quickly and continually the builders. We're spending a, you know, an exponential amount of money every single month on paid advertising doing this and using the strategy because we provide value first. It's not scammy. People no longer opt in just the landing pages. It builds that kind of relevancy model that I was talking about. And it's worked absolutely amazingly well. And then what we do is to go into the SSF model, we... Uh, basically give them what we said we, we were giving them. We start building a relationship. We give them more articles value. And then we give them, okay, here's this next lead magnet. Now, if they say yes, it's like, okay, they're engaged, number one. And two, what does that lead magnet say? If it's higher obligation, it means now that they're in the slow lane. And now in the slow lane, their mindset's changing a little bit. They know, they're starting to know, like, and trust you. They're starting to get to the point where they become an informed potential purchaser. And you, again, continue building the relationship. You give little points of obligation, surround it with, you know, the whole Gary Vanderchuk kind of style. You know what I mean? And then at the fast lane, this is where you're going to make the money. In the fast lane, that's where you introduce the webinar or the strategy call or the product or whatever it would be because now they know I can trust you. They understand the pain in their life. They understand that you fix it. And now all you have to sell them on is the outcome. They already trust you. And that is how we do lead generation and is able to be able to put a dollar in the Facebook and get seven or eight bucks back. Brilliant. And keep in mind, we wouldn't be able to do it without email marketing. Without email marketing, the entire thing crumbles, which is why it's very, very important. And as a smart entrepreneur, you'd be, of course, smart to be able to deploy that in your overall marketing strategy. Yeah, brilliant. So if you want to, like obviously that's been working really well for you and if you can put in a dollar and get seven or eight dollars back then uh you know you'll just throw money at that that all day so uh let's dive into a little bit more about that system and you know how how does like what exactly like what are we putting in the emails how does email marketing tie in okay so the way that i the way that i structure my campaigns uh let me just move this microphone here a little bit the way that i structure my campaigns is we have a sidewalk slow lane and fast lane email stream now you can get super complicated with this uh when we uh, teach people in our 12-week program this is what we do we have the sidewalk which the job of the sidewalk is it, it, in everyone it's a job to two jobs one is to understand what they're interested in and two, get them to the next lane at the end of the day, right? So in the sidewalk, it's about 12 emails. The first email is essentially give them that lead magnet. Second email is about four hours later. And that four hours later is coming from me, a very personal uh, subject. And that in that one, I give them three options. And I tell them very specifically, and you can adopt this to any business. Are you an entrepreneur relying on luck, AKA networking referrals, that type of thing? Are you an entrepreneur that's been tinkering with online marketing? So boosting a post, doing a little bit of email, or do you have a marketing funnel and it's just not working? And 90% of all the people that come in are in one of those three categories. Now, here's the option. You can go ahead and split those three categories and basically send emails based on that now because of the fact that they clicked and said, yes, that's me. So it's a little bit of surveying. Or you can just be a little bit, you know, keep it a little bit dumb the first time around just so you know who you are attracting. Then in the third, you're going to start putting in a little bit of a story. You're going to get them to know who you are. So for me, I tell the story of going into $726,000 in debt, which was only 32 months ago. And of course, that creates some authenticity. And then I, I put a little tiny bit, 
a little piece of authority in there by linking it to uh, an interview I did with uh, John Lee Dumas over on the, on the uh, Entrepreneur on Fire. All right. So then in the next email, I give them an article that now explains a little bit more to what I was talking about first. And then I just go through this cycle and I give them a relationship building, something that's an obligation where they need to take, you know, between zero to five minutes, uh, an authority building. Uh, or then the next part is, hey, listen, I got this cool video series. Or, hey, listen, I got this really cool PDF guide. <laughs> and then it's able to, I, then it's able to, while well, Liam goes and turns his light back on, and then as we're going through this process, once that person hits that slow lane lead magnet and they actually say, yes, I want the video series or I want the ebook or whatever is that next level of engagement and that next level of thinking process, we take them out of the sidewalk funnel and we put them directly into the slow lane. And then we repeat the process again. And then as soon as we present the webinar to them, we got an evergreen webinar, and we present the evergreen webinar to them, and maybe the fourth email of the fast lane, they get taken out of the fast lane, and then they get put into the webinar funnel, and then they go through, and now we know they're a hot customer. So we have our salesperson talk to them after if they don't buy. If they buy, they're taken out of that sales stream, and now they're into the customer, the 100-day customer journey. I'm not sure if you know Joey Coleman, but he has his idea of the first 100 days. And then after that, let's say someone drops off on the sidewalk. And let's say after 14 emails, there just nothing happens. Then we put them into a 100-day value stream. And what that 100-day value stream is a series of 30 to 35 emails. And every time they click a link, Every time they take an action, they get tagged. And at the end of that, we have a little bit of the logic, a little bit of lead scoring logic that says this person is in the sidewalk, slow lane, and fast lane. And then on a, on a weekly basis, they will get an email based on what mindset they're in and what they're interested in. This allows us to, if we're sending out an invite for, webinar, for a webinar, am I going to bring a sidewalker that has no idea who I am and is not interested in any of my stuff onto a webinar and expect to convert them? No. But if I can get a fast laner on a webinar, I can get 10, 20% conversion rates like no problem. 